Good morning, folks. Good morning, family. Um, I'm coming today uh, as a response to uh, my friend Catrice. I love you, Catrice. Oh my gosh. Um, she and I have been uh, sending some information back and forth uh, via Facebook and our videos and things like that um, concerning what's going on now in the political landscape and especially Syria. Um, <clears throat> it's our goal to, to work out and try to make a, a, a social uh, activist political type of information vlog, video blog um, with the two of us. Hopefully we can get together soon and make that happen. But anywho, um, today is September the 11th um, and it has been 12 years uh, since the uh, September 11th attacks. I remember I was uh, at Rock Hill High School in gym class, Coach Elder's class, and she pulled all of us um, she pulled all of us out of the gymnasium and brought us to the classroom and turned on the television and there it was. I mean, it was, it was, it was, anyway, it was a lot. So I will never forget that for the families who were directly affected. Um, my heart, my prayers go out to you um, and to this nation. You know, I, I feel like that um, this, this day, September 11th, is a, is a very timely reminder of how military action and how uh, things could get out of hand, um, and that leads me to the point of of, of what President Obama has um, so eloquently and so uh, level-headedly, if that's a word, uh, displayed last night. Um, I haven't heard the entirety of the message. I heard a, a huge chunk of it, um, and I have definitely heard many, 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 many commentaries. Um, just listening to the radio this morning listen, and reading some things, uh, reading some articles and, and uh, you know, listening to some political forefront leaders. Um, one thing that really inspires me, number one, is something that I heard this morning that I was informed of this morning, was that um, diplomacy has been on the table for a long time. And uh, unfortunately, the American population we only really know about something if it's in the forefront of the media. If it's in the forefront of the media, then it's in the forefront of the American populace. Well, it hasn't really been uh, sexy to uh, talk about, you know, Obama and uh, President Obama and, and Vladimir Putin doing some discussions about Syria. I was told this morning that discussions, uh, uh, the diplomatic discussions about how to address Syria and, and the issues going on there with chemical warfare, uh, span all the way back to the spring of 2012. So that bit of information encouraged me, knowing that uh, President Obama has made diplomacy priority number one and military action very, very, very for much a last resort. Um, but one thing that that uh, that I know, and and I heard it as a talking point over the last couple of days and, and I do agree with what was said is that I, they I don't believe and I agree with them when they said that they didn't believe that um, the coming out of both Syria and and, and uh, Russia and in, in, in making this diplomacy visible to both their populations in the United States I don't even think that would have come out unless this military action was on the table is it your parents parents, I see it all the time, you tell your children to do something, you tell them time and time again until you look at them and go, Keisha, Keisha, if you don't, I'm going to knock your, and then all of a sudden, Keisha is uh, has an incentive to do what was requested of her, um, military action can be extremely, extremely dangerous and damaging and um, I'm still a bit skeptical on how these strategic strikes will work and the ramifications of them afterward. Um, secondarily, I, I, I really want to find out, which I probably never will, what what is the additional benefit for the United States. The United States has a long history of helping people out. But usually when it has something good to do with us as well. So um, I'm still trying to figure out what will be the uh, incentive on top of the moral, on top of the uh, 
social incentive for the Americas to get for the United States to get involved uh, in Syria. Um, war is war, and and death is death. And for me, you know, what's the difference between chemicals and what's the difference between bombs and what's the difference between you know sending a legion out with machetes and slaughtering a populace? For me, death is death. Um, I have, I have. That's my personal thing. My thing is, like I said in my previous video, um, if you're gonna kill, you're gonna kill. It's, that's just, that's just what it is. Death is death. Um, I'm gonna wrap this up real, real, real quick because I gotta go. Uh, hopefully, Catrice and I can work it out that we can uh, do one of these videos right beside each other. Um, family, have a wonderful day. Uh, make the best of it, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.